final bird's just about ready to come out. So we're going to play a little game as Dawson makes his way out. Um, do you guys think he's going to be a falcon, a hawk, or a kite? I heard kite and I had um, heard falcon. Well, actually, he's a species of hawk. So he's going to be what's known as a broad-winged hawk. Um, they look very similar. The, the kite and the falcon guesses, those are very great guesses because of his size. He's going to be a much smaller bird, so they're often misidentified, but he is going to be a hawk. Um, the broad-winged hawk is going to have sim similar coloration to the red-tailed hawk, but one of the most distinguishing factors are going to be his broad wings. You guys might not be able to see it very well because he has his wings tucked, and also a very distinct black and white banded tail. Now, the broad-winged hawk is a native hawk species we have in this area, but they're actually not going to be a year-round native. They're going to be a migratory species of hawk, which isn't very common. Um, so looking at Dawson, looking at his size, what do you guys think he's going to be eating out in the wild? Mice. Yeah, small mice and things. Small mice, a lot of insects, maybe some small snakes, lizards, stuff like that. And what happens to those animals when it starts to get cold? Yeah, they're going to either die off, they're going to go into hibernation, something like that. So that's why the broad-winged hawks are going to be migratory, migrating from the northern hemisphere to the southern hemisphere to follow that food source. Now, these birds have a really incredible migration. So they can migrate in flocks of um, almost 100 birds to up to 1,000 birds. And actually, a flock of hawks is going to be called a kettle because the way that they're... Um, their flock is going to look, looks like steam coming off a kettle. So that's how those flocks get that name, kettle. But I'm going to touch on one of, uh, kind of a specific prey item that these birds hunt. It's actually going to be snakes. Because the way these birds hunt snakes is really fascinating. It really goes to show how intelligent they are. Does anyone out here like snakes particularly? Okay, good, good. Me too. I do like snakes as well. So it's kind of a sad day for the snake when this hawk comes. Like I said, the way they hunt is very cool. So what they're going to do when they spot that snake, once they spot that prey item, is they're actually going to land down on the ground a few feet away from it. They're going to open up their wings, start circling that snake, doing a little dance around it. Then they're going to take their wings and smack it across the face. <laughs> yeah, a little funny, right? Y'all want to take a guess why they're smacking that snake across the face? To stun it for sure. I don't know about you, but I'd be pretty stunned if a bird came up to me and just smacked me, right? So stunning, disorienting, um, those are definitely correct. And another thing they're trying to do is they're actually trying to get that snake to strike at them. So the wing is going to be mainly made up of feathers. There's going to be a little bit of muscle, bone, and tissue up towards the top. But it's mainly feathers, so when that snake does go to strike, it's not going to hurt them at all. It'll be like if a sna uh, snake bit our hair. So once that snake strikes, these birds are going to use their crazy fast reflexes to grab that snake. They're going to put one foot on the head, one foot right behind the head, give a nice little squeeze, and then rip that head clean off. A little gruesome. They're going to toss the head to the side. They're going to go enjoy the body of their snake. But why do you guys think they're tossing the head of the snake to the side? I mean, it has good stuff in it, so why just throw it away? Yeah. Yeah, you're, you're exactly right. The snake can still bite. There, um, there's a possibility of fangs. There's a possibility of venom sacs being in the head of that snake. So if these birds were to go and immediately eat the head, they can possibly envenomate themselves, just making the entire process pointless. Now, occasionally, not all of them are going to do this. This is a learned behavior taught through generations from parent to young. But occasionally, they will actually return to the head of the snake. They'll dissect it a little bit find the fangs, find the venom sacs, pluck them right out, and have a nice juicy head to eat. Really cool, right? Really goes to show how intelligent these birds are using methods like that to hunt kind of more dangerous prey items. Now I think Dawson has done a lovely job out here, you guys, but it looks like he's just about out of food, so we're going to go ahead and send him on home. How would y'all enjoy meeting Dawson, the broad-winged hawk?